Warren Park was the scene on Friday night where the Braves got a 7-1 victory over the Orleans Firebirds alongside Alex Moore, Blaine McCormick, myself, Rob Warner, and the player of the game, Spencer Brickhouse. Spencer, you went three for four. You had a big time triple and you scored two runs. What did you see on that triple? Did you think there was any chance the ball was going to get out? Uh, I mean, 300 down the line, right when you hit it, you know, you, I had, I was like, maybe it could happen. I mean, and then I saw it land and skip right to the fence, and I just took off. I mean, I, I went hard out of the box just because I know how the field plays after being here for two years, and you know, just took off hard out of the box and ended up getting a triple out of it. And so I was happy with what I got to get the RBI out of it, and you know, give us more runs on the board. And the ball hit you in the wrist. Did it hurt, or was it you're just so happy you got the triple? It didn't hurt. No, I mean, I was. It hit me, and I mean, honestly, if it didn't hit me, it was a good chance I was out. So I was willing to take it for the <laughs> take the take the risk for the team. So it didn't hurt that bad. You know, I was glad I was glad it did hit me in the end. So it, was, it didn't really feel that bad. So feel the name Brickhouse very well, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so how about that bullpen? I mean, Brian Helling coming in four innings, seven strikeouts. What's it like to have a bullpen like that that can just come in and close it for you? Oh, I mean, it's a lot easier as a fielder. Um, I mean, you go in, he gets seven strikeouts like that. I mean, it speeds up the game, makes the pace a lot better for the defensive guys. I mean, it's always good to have the pitchers go in, you know, do their job like that. I mean, we got a phenomenal pitching staff. Hoeing did well, Lasco did well. I mean, it's just good to get those guys out there and start throwing strikes and get batters out, especially in a league like this, as good as the hitters are. And you're really riding on a hot streak. You opened up the season with a home run at YD, and now you got the RBI triple to have here. You seem to have a fan favorite with this team. I saw you signing autographs and stuff. What does it mean to be back here for a second year and seeing the community once again? I mean, it's awesome. You come back and play for the Bourne Braves, playing with a lot of the guys that I played with last year. I'm back with the hires. I mean, they've taken care of me two years in a row. I mean, they've, they really brought me in, gave me a good comfort level. You know, I feel like I'm with a family again, even though my family is 1,000 miles away. I mean, it's always good to come back and have that comfortable feeling and, you know, coming back to a team like the Braves and have Harvey as my coach and have the – team around me the way they the way they mesh and the culture that we have is good because I, mean, I feel like a lot of a lot that separates good teams in the Cape is how the culture is and how the guys mesh and I think we got that going for us and hopefully we can bring back another championship to Bourne. And you had the three hits today but your teammates were just excited about your defensive play when you caught a line drive and doubled off the runner at first. How'd that feel? It was good you know just get get the momentum back our way. I mean something like that could easily get down the line and be a big inning for another team you know just to stop something like that was good you know gave the give the pitchers a little more confidence to me at first base and gives everybody a good comfortable feeling that you have nobody on base instead of one guy maybe two guys on if that ball gets down the line so 7-1 win tonight for the Bourne Braves this man right here three for four with a triple and two runs back tomorrow at the Brewster Whitecaps for a 5 p.m. first pitch yes get on three get on three Go! Doran Park on Friday night was where the Bourne Braves got a 7-1 victory over the Orleans Firebirds. It was a great game for the Braves all around. Good pitching, timely offense, and really a good victory for the Braves as they move on to 2-1. They're going to play the Brewster Whitecaps tomorrow. Alex, I want to start with you. The pitching was really great tonight. Austin Pope came out and did his job. What did you see from Austin Pope tonight? Oh, he was mixing his pitches up very well, and he was locating tremendously. Three innings of no-hit ball. He was pulled from that, and I don't think the baseball gods liked that very much because the very next batter got a hit. So maybe we'll have to look at that. But, I mean, Brian Hoeing came in right afterwards. Four innings, seven strikeouts. That's unbelievable when that bullpen can come in and, you know, shut down the offense. Blaine, we don't see many home runs hit at Doran. We saw one tonight, though. Yeah, exactly, and it was coming off of the bat of Chase Murray, and he's been on a tear lately. The Georgia Tech, and he's been joined by fellow tour Georgia Tech Yellow Jacket, Oscar Saratos, but you got to give a shout-out to Chase on that one. Just a high changeup that he saw right in the zone, and he just puts the power behind it. Doesn't really have the frame of a big power guy, but by the judge of that distance from the ball, man, he could be a three-hole hitter here very soon. So, Blaine, out of the three of us, you're the only one that's a returner. So I'm going to ask you, what did you think of the per the performances of two returners, Spencer Brickhouse and Tyler Fitzgerald, both going three for four and having big games offensively? Well, I mean, they were great last season, and they're picking up the momentum just as much on this season. They both had great seasons this year at their respective colleges. And for Brickhouse, I don't think I've seen a man of his stature leg out a triple like that. <laughs> and I think that Harvey Shapiro and him may have had a few words together <laughs> that maybe weren't in agreement, but... For Tyler Fitzgerald, yeah, great rebound from his first start at YD, a two RBI uh, single that he had scoring two and then advanced on the throw to second. And, you know, for him, he's a smart baseball guy and has that lanky frame that can really 
uh, provide a lot of stolen bases for you. He had 23 at Louisville this season. But, yeah, he really impressed me today. Okay, guys, so Tomahawk talk time for player of the game. Alex, you go. Brian Helling. It's, it's a no-brainer for me. Four innings, seven strikeouts, unbelievable job. I got to tip my hat to him. I would not want to be in the batter's box against that man. I'm going I'm going to go with Spencer Brickhouse. Went three for four tonight, two runs. He had that triple, and during batting practice, he was getting made fun of by pitching coach Joe Lincoln that he couldn't, he wasn't very fast. So I'm going to go with the big man, getting the triple, legging it out, and getting one for the team tonight. Blaine, who you go? Well, I'm going to stick with the pitching theme that Alex has, and I'm going to go Austin Pope, the starter for this evening. He didn't allow a single hit in four innings pitched, also had uh, five strikeouts on the ledger for him, too. And this was his first appearance. He's going to earn another start here very quickly. So Bourne looking good through three games, two and one after a big win. Over the Orleans Firebirds 7-1, we'll be back out tomorrow at Brewster for a 5 p.m. first pitch. We'll see you then.